Hi everyone, welcome back to the episode 3 of this SQL tutorial series. In today's video, we'll be learning on how to create a database and table. So what exactly is a database? A database is a structured set of computerized data with an accessible interface. But what it simply is, is a collection of tables. So in today's video, we're actually going to go through some of these basic database related commands. So things like show, showing a database, creating a database, dropping a database, and also using a database. So first off, I'll need you to go to this Groom IDE. So if you have your own Postgre, MySQL, SQLite uh, interface, you can use it as well. So after which, I want you to actually run the container. This will take some time. All right, now that the loading has been completed, I will need you to type in MySQL ctl and start so this will start the mysql database all right now that it's done we type in mysql this will start the mysql terminal interface all right so if you look back to the slide the first thing you want to do is do show databases so what it does is it simply show the databases that are existing inside your uh, mysql So as, as you can see, we have information schema, we have MySQL, we have performance schema, and also system. So this shows the, this, this command actually shows the existing database inside MySQL. So the next one is actually to create the database, to create a new database. So what we do is we can do create database, and then we name our database as, for example, as database. So this will actually create a database and then you see query OK, one row affected. So if we go back to show databases, you can see that the test database is inside this uh, MySQL database. So the next one is actually to drop the database. So here we actually want to delete the database that's inside MySQL. So let's say you want to delete the test database. So we can do drop database and then we do test db. So as you can see, it says query OK, zero rows affected. If we go back to our show database, you can see that it's gone. So also, also one thing to note is that you don't actually have to type in, retype in the command from that you have typed uh, previously, you can just click on the up arrow and then you can go back to the previous query that you have made. So lastly, we have the use database uh, query command. So what we can do here is use, so we actually need to create back the database that we delete. So create database and then we do test db. So this one recreates the database that we just drop off and then here we want to use it. So before you actually start on anything or creating tables, you actually have to log into the database. So this is uh, a way to actually log into that existing database that you have created using the use uh, query function. Moving on to table, a table simply contains rows and columns and they store data in a structured way. So to actually create a table, you actually need to follow this syntax. So here we need to type in create table and then we type in the table name we want to name. So for example, if I want to put in sales, I'll type in create table sales. So, and then I'll put in a bracket. So inside this bracket, I'll put in column one. So for, let's say if I want name, name of customer. So I'll name the column one as name of customer. And then as for the data type, I'll put it as varcha. And then for the second column, I'll let's say I want to add in email, email addresses. So I'll type in email addresses. And then for the data type, I'll put in as voucher. So for the data type, how we can actually decide is you can actually look through this documentation from MySQL. I'll leave the link to this documentation in the description below. So over here, we are able to choose different type of uh, data type for our data needs. So here we have um, 
decimal numerics, we have different kind of integers. Then we also have the date, date and time data type. Yep, so if we want to add in the date time or do we want just the date, I personally use uh, timestamp quite a lot. Also, we have string data types. So string data types are uh, varchar and char. And also we have uh, boolean and also text types. So these are the kind of things that we, we need to actually look through before we actually build up our table. Okay, so let's move on to actual practice. So now let's actually create an actual table. We will name the table as customer. So we just type in create table. Then we name the table as customer. Then we put in our curly brackets. So for the column one, we want to put in the name of the customer. So I will name it as a name of customer. So I'll put in as name. And then for the data type, I'll put in as varchar. So over here, we can decide how many uh, characters, what is the limit for the character for the name. So let's just say if I put in 100, that means the maximum number of character for the name is actually 100. But usually I just put in around, I think 100 is fine. Uh, it's, a good, it's a good number. After which I want to add in, let's say email addresses. So I just type in email and then once again, varchar 100. And then after which I close the bracket and then I put in the semicolon. Always remember to add in your semicolon, otherwise it won't work. So if I don't add in my semicolon and I just click on enter, you see it actually doesn't execute the query. So you need to put in that semicolon and then you see that it says query okay, zero rows affected. So to actually know that if your if your table is created successfully, you can just type in DESC, which stands for describe table which is uh, the customer table so here you'll be able to see the field which is the name and then the type is varcha and then of course we have all the constraints all these will be uh i will touch on this in the later video and not in this one because i want to actually shorten the video to not to make it so long for you and then as for the email uh, we, has, we have varcha as well so it, it fits in correctly and everything looks well. Similar to dropping off a database, you're also able to drop off a table using the same command. So over here we use drop table and then the table name. So let's just drop off this customer table. So we can just type in drop table customer. As you can see here, it's no longer available. So you type in DSC customer and he will tell you that the test database customer doesn't exist so we have successfully dropped off the table so now let's move on to actually recreate the customer table again because we need it for the next practice so instead of actually copying and pasting the previous command you can just uh, type in the up arrow you can just keep express on the up arrow until you reach that create table yeah over here then you can just put in a semicolon because just now we demonstrate the absence of the semicolon so we just add in a semicolon and then click on enter and then we do a describe customer again yep it's back up so now to actually insert data into the table you need to follow this syntax insert into the table name and then after that put in the curly braces Curly brackets, I mean, so type in the column one, column two, so the column one name and column two name that you want to add in, and then close the bracket, then add in the values, item one name, and item two. So these are the actual values they want to add into the respective column. So let's say if the column one is name, and then column two is email, under the values, you will key in the name. So if I, for example, John, and then item two will be his email, which is john at gmail.com, something like that. So over here, we do not need to follow strictly column one, column two, so and so forth. We don't need to actually follow a strict uh, pattern. So as long as this column corresponds to the value that you want to add in. So 
item one will be added into column one item two will be added to column two so let's get into practice by inserting actual values into the customer table that we have just created so once again let's check the table so in this table we have the name and email so we want to insert into this table so we do insert into customer and we put in the curly brackets so inside these curly brackets we want to key in the name and also the email and then we need to key in the values so what kind of values are we adding into the respective columns so i want to add john okay oh in and then uh his email address this is john at gmail com okay so remember to put in your semicolon at the back so we see over here we see query okay one row effect that means we have successfully add in one row into the table so to actually look into the data you do a select star which star stands for everything from the table that we've created customer as you can see here we have successfully added john and his email into the table so select star from the data table is pretty much like the print hello world from all the programming language that you have learned so it's actually quite a big thing a lot of people get very excited when they actually successfully execute this command so if you have done so uh do pat yourself at the back because this is a huge milestone or should i say your first milestone for sql I've actually also included the assignment for this tutorial series in the description below. And this is it for this tutorial. In the next video, we'll be learning how to actually alter the data in the table. So things like changing the data type of a column. So if you actually accidentally, like for example, you create a date column, but then you use an integer data type, you'll learn how to actually change that to a date time data type. We also be learning how to add constraints, so things like primary key, foreign key, and not now. So thank you all for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one.